Hello everyone. For today's videos I will be putting some questions to Metatron that have come from various viewers. So at this time I would like to remind all subscribers and especially to let the new ones know that Metatron welcomes questions of a general nature that could be of interest to all of the viewers and he is happy to respond to them via these videos. Some of you have posted questions that are personal in nature and if I have not responded to them for any reason on YouTube or on Facebook as they can sometimes get lost, I invite you to send me an email to House of Metatron and Metis, all one word, at gmail.com. I will put the address in the description below this video. For personal questions, if it's just one or two questions, I am happy to respond to them via email. However, if they are more, and you expect an in-depth answer and personal assistance along your spiritual path, I request a donation for that work and I hope that you will understand. Most of the services I offer are described in detail on my website, healingandmeditation.org. And if you feel so inspired to make a donation at any time to help support this work, you can go to my website and under any of the services there is a PayPal donation button and I would greatly appreciate any donations that come to the nonprofit organization I have founded and you can also get IRS tax receipts for it if you make that request. So I will start with the first question. The other Pope got fired and the people really liked this one. The entire world was listening during the days that he was in the United States. I like what he says, but I don't want to be Catholic. And then she says in parentheses, I mean, I am, so to speak, but not practicing. So she says, I don't want to be Catholic and live by the rules and laws of the church. Is this a good thing? So now I will get myself in alignment to receive the answer. I am one with my glorious I am presence and holy Christ self. My personalities, body elemental, and new spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. And I am fully contained within my heart diamond and Metatron's cosmic egg. I am now ready to receive today's message. Greetings, beloveds. I delight, as always, in answering your questions that are of a general nature and that will apply to many of you out there. This particular question is of great importance as the overall number of people still going to church throughout the world has decreased drastically. At one time, about 80% of the world's population attended some kind of church. That number 
is now around 20%. This is mostly due to a backlash of the distortions and misuse of authority that most churches have been guilty of. Churches in general were designed to exist as an intermediary between the people and God. There was never intended that there needed to be an intermediary between anyone and God. Christ said, when you wanted to pray, go into your room. I believe he used the word closet, but it is meant to be a small private space where you can communicate directly with God. This is how it should have always been, beloved. But churches were founded on the need to manipulate and control people, using their fear of God's retribution as the whip to get people in line, to get people paying money to the church in order to be saved, in order to be guaranteed a place in heaven. And the rules became stricter and more constricting as time went on. The rules also became more and more ridiculous as to what you should eat and what you should wear on your body and the type of sexual practices you were allowed to do. Whether you were allowed to remain married to one person or another. And as the rules became more constricting more and more churches were created so that instead of each church being based on very simple rules that God had put forth, they were now designed to allow each church to make up their own rules. The first example of this was the creation of the Church of England, which was the first church to separate itself and become an independent entity from the Roman Catholic Church. It was done simply because the king, who had been granted one divorce from the Pope, was denied a second one. And so he created his own church so that he could get divorced as many times as he wished. There are now thousands of sects that exist across the planet, all supposed, all supposedly are denominations of the first church, which was the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Now they all have their own rules. And if you don't like the rules in that church, you are free to go to another church. So beloved, my response to you 
is, is it a good thing that you no longer wish to make yourself subject to the laws and rules of a dying church? I say, yes, it is a good thing. You are free to follow the admonitions of this great Pope as you wish. He has asked in some measure for people to become more responsive to the needs of their brethren. And this is a good thing. And yet, he is responsible for vast, vast sums of money that the Catholic Church could use to wipe out poverty, to eliminate homelessness, and yet they do not do it. So this Pope is taking small baby steps in a world where great steps of mastership are actually required and needed. It remains to be seen how he will manifest his desires to be of service to all of God's children on this planet. I will now go to the next question. Is it at all possible to have problems with Asperger's or slight disorders and still be enlightened? Well, beloved, this particular question cannot be answered on a general basis, for it depends on the spirit within any person who is suffering from any great mental or cognitive disability. I will say that it is not a limiting factor in that it is indeed possible for a person who suffers from any of these conditions to become enlightened in the sense that they allow their spiritual self, their true divine self, to be manifest from within them. Of course, it would be hard for a normal person to determine whether or not the person suffering from such conditions is indeed trying to manifest an inner truth and an inner spirit. But the answer is, it is indeed possible. And now for the last of today's questions. How and why do the plaques and tangles in the brains of Alzheimer's patients come to exist? And what can we do about it? Well, beloved, I will try to give you a simple explanation of the why. Your brain operates on electrochemical 
frequencies. Alzheimer's is a direct result of an interference with the proper function of these electrochemical synapses and exchanges that take place within the brain. It is usually caused by the ingesting of certain chemicals which cause this interference. Some of these chemicals can be identified as fluoride, as aluminum, and there are other chemicals that get into the body because of the pollution of your air, your water, and your food. Some of these chemicals have been intentionally introduced in order to bring about these diseases. Others of them have happened because of the use of certain metals and materials in your kitchen and in your homes and in paint and in other substances that are used to make your housing. And now as to what to do. Going through a detoxification of heavy metals and of other substances can always be of great assistance, even if a person is not suffering from Alzheimer's. Your environment has become so polluted that it has become a necessary thing to do some kind of detoxification on a regular basis. The heart diamond has also been introduced to you because the heart diamond can be a very effective tool in detoxifying all of your bodies, that is the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, and the etheric bodies, can all be purified with a regular use of the heart diamond. So I suggest that those of you who have it use it on a regular basis for yourselves and you can begin to using it around other people as you have been instructed to do by Christmas. I would like to add one last thing and that is that most of the drugs that are used for Alzheimer's do not bring about any dramatic assistance to the person. They only add to the chemicals that the person has to deal with. But it is up to each one to decide how and if they are going to use chemicals or to use any other substance in order to heal themselves of whatever condition they are suffering from. I thank you for listening. I love and bless you always. I am Metatron, Lord of the Universe.